All right, so this is me kind of raging at the Elgato HD 60S Plus because I've got one. I actually got one from exchanging my old HD 60S because I have an M1 Mac, and I guess Elgato made wouldn't update their old utilities for the HD 60S for M1 Macs, so they just said, "Hey, uh, if you bought an M1 Mac, give us the receipt, and we'll." send you will exchange your capture card out for a compatible one for free so i did that and now i have a s plus and that's where the problems kind of began because it's really unreliable we're going to demonstrate that with my ps3 here now you can already tell that i've actually defeated hdcp so don't worry about that being a factor here because i know somebody's gonna say well the PS3 makes heavy use of HDCP, that's why you're having problems. But this problem happens on my Series X, and happens on my Wii U as well, which as far as I know does not use HDCP, so without further ado, let's go ahead and start some games and we'll see this problem come up in force. Maybe. Watch it just be completely intermittent and not actually trigger when I'm recording, so... I'm going to use a PS3 game because Grand Theft Auto V is going to actually jump into 720p, I believe. At least according to the 4K capture utility that Elgato uses, it's recording or it's getting its 720p signal whenever I start up Grand Theft Auto V. So I'm going to go ahead and start it, and it's going to do a resolution switch, and the HD60S actually just blinked red at me. Yeah, it just did a red blink and now we're launching into the game. The game is launched and there's no video from the HD60S. However, if I go into properties on OBS, which you can't see at the moment, deactivate the HD60S, activate it, it comes back and it's squished up into the corner because it's running at 720p now. I should be able to, I wonder if I can just set it to manually 1080p, so that way it just upscales. Deactivate, activate, deactivate, activate. Nope, it is not happy. So yeah, it just squishes it up into the corner, and now we're in the game, and as you can see, it is running perfectly fine. So HDCP is not a factor here. So I'm going to quit out of the game now. And it's going to probably bug out again. Like it just did. So let's go back in the properties, deactivate, activate. And it's not coming back. Just like I wanted it to do for the purposes of demonstration. Deactivate, activate. There we go. Now it came back. So normally I have to give it multiple cycles of that deactivate and activate. And it is so annoying. Because it'll just flip out like this. Just completely at random. And sometimes I have to go as far as restarting my whole computer to fix it. And it's actually crashed so bad before that it has completely hung my computer to the point where I had to force a restart. Because, yeah... <laughs> That's how crunchy this stupid thing is. So I'm going to try another PS3 game. It's probably going to do the very same thing. And yeah, we're at the Capcom logo and nothing. So I have to go back, right-click, Properties, Deactivate, Activate, and it came back, but once again, squished it up into a corner. So now I have to quit the game. Once again, it's going to freak out. Now what's funny is it seems to be completely fine with retro games, probably because it's upscaling to 1080p. So a, re a full on resolution switch is not actually occurring. So I'm able to bring it back relatively consistently besides that one time where it didn't. 
So I can start up like Final Fantasy IX, and it's probably going to work completely fine. And yeah, it's going to work completely fine. Because it's not doing a resolution switch, it's just upscaling, I believe. And to finally tie this one up, I'm going to go and fire up a PS2 game. Which I can just go in here, and because I'm a cheap person, I can just grab an ISO and mount it. And there's our PS2 game. And it'll probably work. Because it's a retro game. And the HD60 is blinking right at me at the moment. Well, it blinked red when it did the resolution switch. But then it, it pulls back out of it, which is interesting. So, it does this on not just my PS3, again. But what's nice is I'm going to get another capture card for testing, thanks to Tech Ambrosia here on YouTube, who is actually graciously offering to send me her EVGA XR1 Lite, which looks to be exactly what I need in a capture card. So, I'm going to be trying that out, and I'm going to be hopefully having a better result with that than the Elgato card, because it seems like a lot of people have been having these issues, and no one's really found a success story with it yet. I've swapped USB cables, I've swapped USB ports, because I have two USB controllers in my computer. I have a PCIe one, and then I have a, the one on the motherboard. So, yeah. Uh, hoping the EVGA card is at least a little bit better at this, because it's infuriating when I'm in the middle of streaming something, and I know I haven't been streaming a lot lately, thanks Comcast. But it's annoying when I'm in the middle of a stream and uh, the whole thing goes down because the Elgato card has just decided to give up. So, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed my little rant on this and, well, I will see you guys later.